Goodness gracious, wow. Holy smokes. How's it going, everybody? How are you? How are you doing? How you feeling? How are you, how are you holding in there? It's Saturday evening. I'm glad to have you here with me. We are playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. And if you've forgotten, we are actually currently on a quest to rescue a Diglett who was carried to the top of a mountain by Skarmori. Because that's a normal thing that happens, you know. Anyway, we were requested by Diglett's dads. Doug Trio, so we kind of have to do it. I mean, they were so adamant about it. We really didn't get a chance to say no. We literally did not get a chance to say no. Um, I assume that everyone can hear me. Let me know. Cause I mean, I'm just gonna barrel straight ahead. Oh, hey, Sophie. a little bit alarming. Stream. Can you hear me? Stream. Can you hear me? That's good. Alright, well there's still plenty of stuff to explore, so we could just go straight up. But I don't remember what floor we need to get into, so... Uh, gummy! Yes! Freaking orange gummy! Yeah, 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 we're gonna take that! Put that in our pocket! Orange gummy. Check this junk out, man. So when given to a rescue team member, it raises the Pokemon the Pokemon IQ. Fighting type Pokemon like it best. So we don't really need it for us, but this can be used to give Pokemon more the, the Pokemon more AI abilities. So that they do less stupid things like, you know, throw items into walls. Chitter, chitter. This game really does make me want to eat gummies, though. Kate was right. The gummies all look kind of like noodles to me. Like little, uh, elbow noodles. Anyway, I won't waste your time wandering around too long, so I'm sure that's probably boring for you. I don't want to bore you. I mean, I assume I... I don't, I don't know, gang. I don't know. You tell me, Winter. Move it along. There wasn't even anything in this room! What a jip. I'm still not over how cute Mudkip is whenever he hops around. It's really cute. Really cute, Mudkip. What kind of personality type would get a Mudkip? Mm -hmm. 
I broke the command key on my keyboard. There's one on the other side, but it's, it's not used to pressing that, so it's very weird trying to do my shortcuts. Uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Mud Kit. Timid, if for a timid girl, we get a mud kit. I think a tall, a, a calm guy would get a mud kit. Surrounded. Dude, you have freaking you have water gun. Use water gun. You dingus. Whatever. Anyway. A hurl orb. Which is an orb that you hurl. Because you know picking up orbs in games when we play never has any negative consequences ever. Nothing bad ever happens when you pick up an orb. Never ever. So we're gonna take that with us. Gotta save these. Because if we do it to fight Skarmory at the top, I'll need my fire type moves. Look at all this, all this, all this loot. A petrify orb. I could just push the right buttons, that would be great. Okay, Pet change the status of foes in the room to petrify all foes in the room. That's awesome. Let's take that with us. Is this- why is- okay. I guess as we get to the top it gets snowy. It is a mountain after all. Will we encounter ice Pokemon? I don't really know.
I've been so quiet. Oh man, I know it's just the three of you right now. Ooh, an escape orb. That might be useful. Sweet. Let's take that with us. That looks like a good thing to have. It's like an escape rope button orb. Wait, is this a dead end? Dang it! How do I go double speed? Oh, that's right, you were doing- you were doing- Whoa, how did I do that? What did I do? Ah! Incredible! Look at us go! We're booking it! Woo! 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 Oh god, there's like a, a freaking tower of them! Okay, okay. Look at that sleepy metatite! Aww. I really don't want to die here. So, you know. I'm going to throw a rock at this rock. Here we go. And throw one at this guy too. You like that? You like that? Here's another one. Ooh, I could set it. Wait, what did you say? What did it say here? Carry pay attention to the things you click. Okay. Pre hold L and then press R. Awesome! Now I got rocks on command. I'm just gonna throw rocks at everybody from now on. That's- that's my new policy, is if I encounter someone new, I'm going to throw rocks at them. Alright? Alright. What kind of goodies are you getting for people, Don?
I was just thinking about that earlier today. Shoot, I might have to do freaking Christmas shopping soon, aren't I? Ugh. I mean, I like Christmas shopping, don't get me wrong. Yeah, well, it seems like it was just yesterday. We were doing it last. I don't like dealing with the crowds. I like buying presents and I like wrapping presents. I do not like to deal. What the heck was that? With the crowds. Oh, that's nice. Stairs are right here. We we don't even actually have to explore. We can just keep going straight up. If we wanted. I love these rocks. Oh my god, that is a lot of Pokemon. Be real great if you help me out, Alistair. Alistair. Thank you. I do that. Oh, there we go. What is it, Sophie? I hear you making noise over there. Whoa, whoa, is that an item? Sophie, oh my goodness. Yeah, rocks! Hang on, I'm sorry. Anyway, because this game is rather tedious at points, I don't mind that there's not many of us here right now. But hopefully, oh, goodness, hopefully, I'll give a to see. That's what's getting bigger, so. I think so. Uh, I don't know if we actually know if it's a son. Did they call him a son? I think they just said I'm a child. Anyway, I'll be back. Is Diglett a indeterminate gender? We're getting pretty close, aren't we? Like we needed to get to the ninth floor. Whoa, 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 pincer. I believe you welcome back. There's a berry here, but we don't really need it.
How's our tummies looking? Goodness, we need to get some food in us. Let's eat an apple. White gummy! You might think it's silly to keep hoarding all of these orange berries, but you never know when you might need one. When in a dungeon, your health should always be a priority. What? Another one? Gummy Palooza! The gummies don't stack, unfortunately. As you have might have noticed, most of the items do not stack. The only item that stacks is rocks. Which is kind of a drag. A food item that has no special effect. We're just gonna eat that. But nothing happened! The splash of seeds. Welcome, welcome! Back, that is. Mount Steel. Here we are! Look, Ellipsis! Diglett's over there! What? Underground? Hey, are you alright? We've come to rescue you! Hey, I'm scared! The ground is quaking. You! What do you think you're doing here? We're here to rescue Diglett, you big jerk! Look at that little... so so angry. Have you ever tried to make a bear tower? It's true, I suppose that they probably wouldn't stack well. Scarmori, don't do this! Release Diglett! How dare you! It's their fault! I haven't slept in days because the earthquakes frighten me so! Every night we've had them! Those earthquakes are caused by that brat- by this brat's ilk running wild underground! That's not true. OBJECTION! Well, it's true there have been many earthquakes lately, but... It would take more than Diglett's family going wild underground to cause earthquakes. You stupid jerk. You be quiet! We'll fight if you keep that up! It's no good. Scar is too agitated to listen to reason. We'll have to fight it out. It's a fight! To the death! Hang on, I better save here. Just in case. But I think we got this. We got this. I'm gonna throw a rock at him. It dodged it! Bullshit, it dodged my rock. If you notice there, it takes a whole lot of damage. It did 22 damage to us in one hit. But luckily, we had Ember on our side. Ugh, I can't keep up! I thought we were gonna die for a second there. But this is only our first boss fight, so... I should have been more... more... Confident. I'll flee for now! Bye! Hey there! We chased Gamora off! It's okay now! Come down over here! Somehow! I don't. It looks like there's a ch like a chasm, a chasm. There's a chasm between us. A chasm between Mooncap and and Diglett. I can't. I'm too scared to move. Okay, no problem. Welcome to you. Just wait. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. We do have a type advantage. Jeez, look at this cliff. Can't see the bottom. Lift this. What do we do? We can't get across this. <laughs> oh, Magnemite Bros! What up, homies? Oh, hi! You're the Magnemite we saved! We got word of this! We can rescue Nicola from the sky! <laughs> Hold on to us tight! <laughs> Wait, what? Don't be scared! We won't make the mistake of zapping you! <laughs> and even if we did, it really wouldn't have an effect on you because, you know, type of disadvantages. Well, I guess type advantages in your case. <laughs> Fates to black before we see Diglett get lifted off the ground. Damn it! Now we'll never know! Ugh! Foiled again! Curse you, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon! The mystery remains. Diglett must be really- I don't remember how much Diglett weighed, it must be very lightweight, though. Pick up a Diglett put it in your pocket. Actually, yeah, I could! I could just pick up a Diglett and put it in my pocket, aren't they? Diglett are incredibly small. They're like a few inches, right? Right? I'm not just remembering that, am I? Diglett. Yeah, they're five inches- I mean, not five, they're eight inches tall. Itty bitty diglets. Put some in your pocket. Oh, I was very scared. Maybe because I was somewhere up so high. My feet... <laughs> My feet feel like they were was My feet feel like they're still walking on air. My feet feel like they're still walking on air. Oh, I take a screenshot. I take a screenshot. It's a beautiful moment. Feet? At least they acknowledge how weird it is. Has them? Feet? I love how the, you, you don't know what you picked him up! How did you pick him up and how are you still- Did you black out while pick- What? How- I can understand these two being confused by it, maybe. But, you know what, well, whatever. Whatever. Well, you're safe now, that's what counts. Yes. Thank you very much. Oh, you've been rescued! Great, great! Huh? What was that? Am I hearing voices? Whoops! You can't see us! That's terribly rude of us! Hello, Dumb Trio here! Oh, Papa! Diglett, you had us worried. You're not hurt. Nope, it was scary, but I'm alright. It's all thanks to Ellipsis' team. Thank you for everything, your heroes! You, be, you should be thanking our Magnemite friends. The rescue was impossible for us to do on our own. Oh, how rude of us! Thank you so much. No, no! It was o the only thing to do. And how both our evolved forms have joined trios. I felt a certain kingship. After all, Pokemon must help each other. I'm impressed. Sincerely, thank you. You must be going, Ellipsis. Alistair. Thank you. What, you're not gonna thank me? Farewell. Rude. Ellipsis team received the reward. 500 Pokey. Team also received a the item Petra Scarf. Your toolbox is full, so the item was sent to storage. We also received the item Ginseng. 
We'll be on our way too. Oh wait! Don't go away. What is it? Um. Would you like to join our team? Join your team? Yes. We couldn't have done that last job if you weren't around, Magnemite. I thought we would need more help for doing rescues in the future. Ellipsis, don't you think so too? We don't need any help! But of course, we're gonna say, we're gonna say we do, but I like, I like, I like shocking Alistair. Huh, why? Don't you want two members? Two is plenty. But, you know, we couldn't have rescued Diglett just by ourselves. Oh no, the movie face! If it weren't for the two Magnemite that flew Diglett out, we would have been helpless. Ho, oh, Ellipsis. You're saying that you could have done that rescue by us- Or, Ellipsis, you're saying that you could have done that rescue by yourself? I can fly, bro. Ellipsis, do you have some special ability that would let you do that? My body stretches. I guess- <laughs> I can't believe we're actually we're actually going we're actually continuing this. Okay, I've never tried this before. Oh, really? Can you show us? Sorry, I can't. Oh, you were just making fun of me? Sheesh. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. You're cute out there. I make fun of you because you make it so cute. What if we just say yes right away? Okay, so he just goes right to it if we don't tease him. Will you join us as members of our rescue team? Rescue team! Oh, look how happy they are! They're so happy! Rescue team! That sounds fun! <laughs> but if you need us to rush over to rescues, we need someone to live close by. Is there anywhere we can live in this area? Um, well... Oh, there isn't. Too bad. Sorry, but we can't join you. See you! <laughs> That is too bad. It looks like we need to find places for Pokemon to live if we want to some to join our rescue team. I know! Let's go to Pokemon Square tomorrow. There's an interesting place called the Wigglytuff Club. It wasn't open the other day when we went to the square. It should be open tomorrow, though. It's next door to Felicity Bank. Wigglytuff is usually there every day. We may be able to get some information. Okay, that's what we'll do tomorrow. We'll go to Pokemon Square. It would be a well-balanced team. Too bad we can't. Too bad. Too bad. Alistair doesn't have any. Alistair doesn't have any more stolen houses. He can pawn off to these. Um, to these Magnemites. Ooh. Oh dear, what's up? This again? Again? It's that dream again. This is a weird dream that you keep having. <gasps> this, that Pokemon! Who could it be? Huh? I'm hearing better this time. What? Human? My role? Wait! Please, tell me more! I can't. Drifting off. The next morning. We just wake up and don't say anything about it. This is fine. Everything is fine. Morning, Ellipsis! 
<laughs> What's the matter? You haven't woke up yet? Oh. We can save everyone but our game. It's true. You've been having strange dreams. What was strange about them? Your lips just told Alistair about the dreams. Hmm, okay. That's, that's actually pretty jacked up. Ellipsis, you said you're actually a human, right? So maybe... Those dreams have some connection to how you became a Pokemon, Ellipsis. Our game is the only person we can't rescue. By the way, Ellipsis, what do you want to do? Do you want to turn back into a human? It's true. I hadn't thought about it much, but... Do I want to become a human again? Do we want to become a human again? I don't think this really makes a difference, but... I leave the, the choice up to you. We can look at both if you want. I want to be a human again. Oh. Oh no! Don't make that face at me! Okay. Well, I suppose so. Since you were a human to begin with, it's only natural that you would want to go back to being one. Anyway, when you were a human, what kind of person were you, Ellipsis? A sassy one, apparently. When I was human. Huh? What's wrong? Is this a dilemma for you? Well, I hope so. It sure must be more fun to be here with me. Cute. You're cute. Alright, let's find out. When you were a human, what kind of person were you, Ellipsis? When I was a human. Huh? What was I like when I was a human, anyway? Oh, she looks so sad. Nope. I can't remember a thing. Oh, wow! You've forgotten? That's okay. There's no rush to remember anything. But this is you, Ellipsis. I'm sure you were a good human being. Anyway... We, are, we were supposed to go to Pokemon Square today. Do you remember? We need to get information on how we can add members to the rescue team. Let's get going. By the way, I, I mean, I don't know. Wigglytuff! Friends are my treasures! Welcome to Wigglytuff Club, a circle of friends. Oh? Is this your first visit here? Oh, I get it. You started a rescue team too, didn't you? You come to the right place. I sell friend areas to add members to your rescue team. So basically you're a real estate agent. Since you're here for a very first time, I'll give you two friend areas for free. Let's do it. Wiggly top, wiggly top. Let's be friends. Ta-da! I guess it's just ta. Congratulations. You can go to the Wild Plains now. You can also go to the Mist Rise Forest. Now you can recruit Pokemon that live in these two friend areas. How do you recruit new members? Well, if you're fighting Pokemon that live in a friend area, sometimes they will come to admire you as a friend. In that case, they may ask to join your team. Just keep trying. 
Bzz, bzz. If you're giving friend areas away, can you also give my friend access to the power plant friend area? I also want to join their rescue team. Okay, gotcha. I'm also giving it away today. Oh, I'm giving it away today. Wiggly tongue, wiggly tingle tingle color loompa. Congratulations. We, you can go to the power plant now. Yes! We can join. Now I can join their team. Yay! Bzz, bzz, bzz. Sorry. I knew my friend turned down your offer to join your team yesterday. But after mulling it over all last night, my friend developed an overwhelming desire to become your team member. Oh my god, you're embarrassing me, Philip. Stop it! Magnemite swatting the other Magnemite with its magnets. Shh! Don't tell them that! Oh my god! Embarrassing. Hi, kid! I apologize, but could you allow my friend to join your rescue team? Oh, wow! Don't forget, we were the ones that asked you should friend to join us. So yes, that'd be awesome! Glad to hear your friend is on board. Glad to have your friend on board. We did just recruit our first friends! The Magnemite who helped us save Diglett. That we had saved originally. Alright! Good good on you! Do your best and try not to hinder your rescue teammates! Stop it, Philip! Oh my god! Ugh. Yeah, I'll do my best! Yay! Magnemite became a team member! Yay! Touch, 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 touch. Give a nickname to Magnemite? D do you want to give a nickname to Magnemite? I'm pretty sure we can nickname him at any point. I usually left mine with the same, with their default names. But if you want to, then we certainly can. We certainly can. I'll be resting up in the power plant friend area. If you want me along for a rescue, come get me at the power plant. Okay, bzz, bzz, bzz. You can go to your friend areas by taking the left path from your rescue team base. There's a sign on the path with the left of your rescue team base, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Maggie? Is it a girl Magnemite? Wait, Magnemite's even head ginger? I guess not. That's all the giveaways today. If you want more friend areas, you'll have to buy them now. Well, Philip is the Philip is the friend. I didn't name the other one. I, I when I was referencing Philip, that would be the one who was talking about you know my friend, which is the one that joined us. Yeah, Mag is genderless. Huh? What's going on over there? Seems to be a commotion. Please help my friend! Please, I need help! Forget it! We're not about to work for that. Wow, what a dick move, Shiftry. My friend needs a gust of wind, please! Hi, what's going on? Look at you! Just, just walking right into this. Like someone, like they're defusing, like like someone, like there's a bomb about to go off, and you just casually walk in. Hey guys, what's up? Read the atmosphere, I'll stare. You did get a number. That's weird. Yeah, it looks like you left and then rejoined. Huh? That scene there. Some puffs begging for a rescue mission, but not finding any luck. See that guy? There, the one in the middle with the pointy nose. He's a Pokemon named Shiftry. He's got his own rescue team. But his team's greedy. They don't work unless they get paid royally. Some puffs been begging for help, but I feel sorry for that poor Pokemon. Wait! Oh, what do you want? 
Oh, it's Alakazam! Woo! So cool! That's Alakazam? Hey, rather cold-hearted, aren't you? My eyes keep watering. Ah. To save Dimpluff's friend, a strong wind is needed. Your leafy fans can whip powerful winds. It's an easy matter for you. Don't be a dick, Shiftry! Basically. Help that Pokemon out. <laughs> okay, we'll do it. Wow! Yeah! Oh, look, his amps and buyers so cool! The Chipsy agreed without any argument. Say, who are they? What? You don't know? It's Alakazam's team! They're the most famous rescue team around these parts. That's Charizard. His flamethrower can melt mountains. And that's Tyranitar. He takes great pride in his armored body and amazing strength. And that's the leader, Alakazam. Alakazam doesn't like physical attacks. He fights with his psychic powers. He's endowed with an amazing brain and an IQ of 5,000. Apparently, he's memorized everything that's happened in the world. Alakazam is all commanding on the team. He's clearly in charge. Th thank you. No need for thanks. It's only natural that you get help. If anyone turns you down again, come see me. Take care. How did Alakazam evolve in the wild? He trained himself! He traded himself between rescue teams. That's also how baseball players evolve in the wild. They trade themselves between teams. Ha! Huh! Cool! That's a good question, though. I think- I feel like in the second game, I don't think it's in the first game, you wouldn't expect any- Wait, what? I missed it. You, I wouldn't expect anything less of the something rescue team, the gold rescue team. What's wrong? What's up? It's fine. Nothing. Let's go. Whew! That was scary. Cool! Ellipsis! We need to become like them! Let's recruit more members and make our rescue team first class! There you are! Not if I can help it. <laughs> the next morning... Gengar! Good morning, Ellipsis! <gasps> I got it! Look, look, look! We got, a, we got an actual request! We got an actual request! I'm sad and lonely. Fighting to have foes was a mistake. Someone help me! Our first request in the mail! Now before we go... <laughs> yeah, please don't, please don't notice me, Alakazam Senpai. Too late. It is grinning happily. Oh no! Can I not make? Can I not nickname him? I thought we could change, add nicknames at any point. I guess not.
It totally makes sense too that Alakazam didn't notice Gengar since Ghost Type. They can escape the notice of psychic attacks. That's that's clever. Here, hold this blast seed. Can I talk to him? Lame. But I can't have him join our team. Come join our come party with us. Well, I guess we don't really need an electric team Pokemon for what we're doing. First request, and it sounds like a dating website. Alright, we thought let's check out what we've got living here. Radita Zigzagoon Puchina. A white and lush savannah full of life. The air is clean and swept along by a pleasant breeze. The music is so it's such friggin' cute. You know, uh, uh, happy, happy volcano music. The tremendously hot ground of this grassy field of fire sprouts, of fire sprouts flames. This is a treasure trove of fire type Pokemon. Mist Rice Forest deep inside the eastern forest is looks ideal for many bug type Pokemon. Seems like something out of Minish Cap, doesn't it? All the colors and stuff. Anyway, let's go save those Voltorbs. Before we should head out, before we head out, we should have seen if there were any requests on the board. Ah, oh well. No harm done. Get back here. Puccino was defeated. Yes, Puccino wants to join your team. Except Puccino is a team member. Woo! Our first recruited team member. Do we want to give him a nickname? We should have caught that other one that was running away. This one tried to run but didn't get far. You coward! If we nickname all of them, we'll be here forever. But as you are a guest, you'll get different. <laughs> we can just give them nicknames in our hearts. That's what I ended up doing with my partner in this one. I just ended up Pikachu. But. I often thought of him as Chubby, like my stuffed Pikachu. You missed! Oh, I guess he dodged. Pick my rock back up. Oh, right! 
you know what we should do? What's up, buddy? Her, I smell foes. Cute. I grew to level four. Grr, I leveled. My nails grew even more sensitive. So I think you can only recruit one at a time. And if you don't make it through the dungeon, you will lose them, so you have to get through the dungeon with them to keep them. You know, you have to leave the dungeon properly with them for them to stay in your team. You must just rescue in some diglets. It's going well. We just recruited our first, our first, well, our second team member because technically our first was the Magnemite we rescued. The Magnemites came to our rescue, came to our aid and helped us rescue Diglett from a cliff top that we couldn't get to. And ended up joining our party. We also recruited a Poutina. So you know, rescue team high mind is just cooking right along. Level 11! Yes, leveled up! Makes me feel chirpy. We also had a dream about um, Pokemon again. It looks like a, a Gardevoir for a second there. And it was saying something about, hum about being a human and our role. But we couldn't hear. We couldn't. They, woke, they disappeared. We woke up before we could get any more info out of them. Oh, I should have put the air the put the gummies and junk inside. Ooh, Alice's max belly size increased. Our belly got bigger. Diglett party. I would go to a party with the Diglett family all the time. To level 11. I also remembered how to walk quickly, so that's cool. Ooh, money. Don't let me forget to go stop items, drop items off. We reached destination floor. Well, the good news is that making your belly, <laughs> making your belly, your max belly larger means you don't eat as much because you can, you stay hungry better. So really, 
it's a good thing. It just kind of sounds kind of. Poochina grew to level 5! Poochina learned howl. Urgh, I leveled! My nose grew even more sensitive! So maybe it's something that grew more, it, that it grew larger, it became more efficient? No, it grew larger. I don't, I don't know. It, it's strange. I, I don't understand. Alright, so there's the stairs, but we need to find the Voltor versus Street saving. Where are they? Voltorb! Voltorb? Oh, that's not our Voltorb. Obviously. Look at the sleeping Ella kid! Throw a rock at him. Throw a rock at everyone. There you are! You can find the one you can tell the ones that we're supposed to be finding because they'll have the same yellow alley. <laughs> Grow an extra stomach. Thank you. Please come and see me at the Pelipper Host office later. You weren't here for this, Joe, but I pointed. I I made. I know. I said that. You know. That's what I'm gonna do. Is I love. I love picking up these rocks. I'm gonna. Oh, we lost Joe. Joe. Yo! Okay, you're back. So I was saying that earlier in the in the stream, I was talking about how I love throwing these rocks at po uh, these rocks. I'm just gonna make it my policy to throw rocks at everyone I meet now. Since Putin has so much lower level than us, I figure we'll fin we'll finish clearing the dungeon, the um, cave. Give some more experience. No worries. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Thank you for rescuing me. Here's a reward. Two hundred pokey. Rescue team hive mind and five rescue points. Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay. See you tomorrow. The rescue team members disperse to the friend areas. If you want to add members to your rescue team, go visit them in their friend areas. Blah, blah, blah. I got a rock right in the face. It looks like it'd be a super cute movie. Good morning, ellipsis! <laughs> Disappearance! 
Merple went the wrong way! I don't care who it is! Please help! Tyrogue wants us to find Wormple. I like imagining these Pokemon being friends. A Tyrogue and a Wormple hanging out. Did you know that a new training gym, I think they call it a dojo, opened in town? You know how many rescue teams started up to deal with all the natural disasters? There's a group of concerned Pokemon. They wanted to support rescue team. So they got together and built a dojo. You can find the dojo easily. We're here to straight down this path. If you have a rescue team too, I highly recommend you pay the dojo a visit. Gosh, so today my, my throat is it having issues? But my eyes are. Ah. Uh. Alakazam. Oh, gold rank. A gold rank rescue team. Alakazam's rescue team has the gold rank. Isn't that awesome? You have a rescue team too, don't you? What's your rank? Nothing special. I guess that's true. Might be rude to say it, but you obviously look like you are nothing special. What? Rude! That is rude to say! That is hella rude, Snubble. But you obviously look like you really are nothing special. Just goes to show you how awesome Alakazam's team is. Rude. I guess it's my sinuses. I mean... It's weird that my eye is just watering crazy. Just the one eye, not both of them. Just my left eye. The Peanuts movie was very, very respectful. You know, I would imagine it would have to be very, very close for them to actually okay it. Because I know that the the company that owns the rights to it, they're very, very, very particular with how things get used. Man, I had a whole bunch of Garfield treasuries, too. Well, he used a typewriter in the, in the, uh, in the cartoons and things, too, so it would be... It'd be really weird if he didn't use a typewriter. I moaned my coworkers at my last job used to do screen printing um, before he started working there, and he would do shirts that had like you know peanut characters on there, and they were very very particular about what you know how they were portrayed and how they did. Like, I imagine that. Ooh, there's been a whole lot to do. I mean, a whole lot of to do. With making sure it was true to what it is. Does that sentence even make sense? I don't know. I'm.
I remember one of the commercials makes a pop culture reference. Something about, like, a... I don't remember, but... I feel like it was audio that was just added in over the, you know, top for commercial sake. <sighs> you know how sometimes they'll do that with, when they release like the DVDs and things, they'll just kind of... Naturally. If she asked for anything more than five cents, it'd be very con confusing. I'd be- I'd be alarmed. There would be- there would be riots in the streets, probably. Called me sweetie. I like that how even the tail is accounted for. Thief. Which is a useless position with another Pokemon, however distant. That's cool. Oh, but I feel it. Yeah, like all the commercials suggested that they were, were pop culture, you know, they, and I was like, hmm. I don't know if the classic voice actors are still around, but people who, are, who you know, imitate, but you know, like just in the same way that they have people who would do the kids are all voiced by actual kids. That is cute. Good on you, Peanuts movie. Wait, where was I going? Oh, the, the board. I went the wrong way. Like, I had a feeling the ads were going to be misleading, but I was hoping, at least that was my hope. Deliver one sleep seed. Sleep seed's texture is comforting. Please help me out. This G.O.D. wants a sleep seed. I think we have one of those. It's a weird request, but okay. Please help Nidoran female. Nidoran female passed out in the, from the heat. I don't care who it is. Please help. Nidoran female and Geodude bros. Toad may have found Wormpool. Please send a rescue team. Wormpool. Looking for Wormpool. Well, I'm over here. What? I thought Diglett. I thought the Dug Trio hung out here.
Which one had the max elixir? Maybe they found them. I mean, there's something said that these Pokemon don't have any connection with humans. Just because we don't see them doesn't mean that there aren't humans involved. Uh, you know, they interact with or human. There might be a human. You know, like a city right nearby. We don't know. Oh, we lived as an Alistair. Long time no see. I have a new friend. His name is Metapod. I'm going to call on Metapod and play in the woods. It's going to be fun. You're cute. You're cute, Caterpie. Seeing the innocence of children at play is a good thing. <laughs> when I was small, I was tiny. <laughs> You're also a good egg. I like you, Is Cash. I guess we really have no way of knowing it. Maybe it's a natural elixir. Maybe the kind of elixirs that they're using are different. I mean, where are they getting these gummies? If we're gonna go that route about it. Barboach. Shit, I forgot to accept the other request! Ah! Damn it! At least we got the Wurmple one. I like that idea, Joe. Hey, here's a sleep seat in case we needed one to take to that Geo dude that we forgot to accept the quest for. Second, I'm going to call my folks, and I'm also going to take some allergy meds. See if that helps. By the way, for those of you wondering when the next plot thing will happen, I don't think it's going to be for a little bit. We have to uh, bump up our rank a little bit more before we get the next quest that's uh, progressing, you know, the next storyline quest. Ooh, a rock! Yes! Can never have too many rocks. This is a fact. Don't worry, I don't feel bad. It's just weird. It's a weird feeling. Like I had something stuck in my eye, but there was nothing there. So I'm just like blinking a lot. A dead end. Where am I going? Why do you just stand back? Why don't you actually help me fight?
Hey, this is a crypto pro tour. We're an kid here. Hey, man, you want to join a party? Apparently not. Okay. Didn't want you anyway, chump. We can't recruit you yet, so get lost. Why does no one want to be our friend? Alright, we're looking for a Voltorb. Right? No, a Wurmple. The Voltorb is the one who wants the sleep seed. Or is that a Geodude? Whatever, it doesn't matter. No, it's a Geodude, that's right. Doesn't really matter in either way. Hey there! Nobody want to be friends? Last call. Okay, we're leaving now. Bye, suckers. You had your chance to be friends with this. Thank you for rescuing Wurmple. Here's your reward, 200 pokey. Whoop! We also received the item, Ground Rock 10, yeah! Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. Alright, I'll be back in just a minute, gang.
Hello everyone, I'm back. My mother says hello. Good morning, Ellipsis. Somebody! Sphero has to come back! Report! Reward upon rescue! I'm feeling fine! You know, a little... A little sinusy, but yeah. Pretty decent overall. Look at all these friend areas. Should buy these. Um, you don't have any money, so no. By lots and lots of friend areas. I don't need green. Wiggly tough, wiggly tough. Let's be friends. You and So we can use this if we want to ever check and see where Pokemon live, what areas. Discipline. Oh, yeah, gotta go check the board. You should check out the dojo, too. Tiny Woods. Oh no! Pochina's whereabouts are unknown! Cute. We want all of the Pokemon, obviously. This is like two requests for the same thing. Ooh, a Reviver Seed, though. We should take one of our weaker Pokemon that we've recruited. Like Poutina down there. And level him up. But for now, we're going to the Underwave Cave. I remembered.
Welcome back. Tail whip sounds like the sound, uh, like Tanuki Mario makes when flying. Oh! Raito wants to join the team! Do we accept Raito as a team member? You bet we do! Welcome aboard, friend. I'll gnaw the best I can! Cute. Risby? It's too late! I've already left the screen! You're too slow! It's been a long time since I saw... I know I've seen that movie, but I don't remember a dang thing about it. We can call him Brisby in our hearts. I'm sorry, I didn't expect anyone to have good names! Not that the other names weren't good, but we had no consensus on names. No one else weighed in on them. This isn't a station floor, is it? Look at Rata go! Rata! Rata! No! Rata! It died defending us. It's kind of weird the sort of things that they make us read when we're young. Interestingly, once you go down a flight of stairs, or up a flight of stairs, the stairs disappear and you can never go back up or down them. That was your one shot. Your one way. It's convenient that they put a sleep seat here in case you forgot to bring one. For whatever reason. I don't remember if it's always that way or if we just got lucky. What up, Geo Dude? Dude, there was a sleep seat right next. Okay, whatever. There's one room away, but you know what? Geo Dude happily accepted the item. Thank you. Geo Dude left the dungeon. Bye. Dude, not the brightest. Not the brightest dude in the, uh, in the cave. Dumb as a rock, you could say. Dumber than a rock. Indeed. Yeah. 
Dumb as a rock, it, I mean, it's perfect how I typically hear it, but you could you could do dumber than, and it would still have the, carry the same, the same meaning, I think. I feel like some Pokemon have a better chance of actually being recruited than others. I might be imagining that wrong. But just kind of like, you know, catch rates. I feel like that might be a thing. I don't remember, though. I probably shouldn't stay up too much later. Oh, hey! There's our buddy right there. Like, literally right there next to us. Thank you. Please come see me at Pelipper Post Office later. See, I was thinking so too, because I remember being frustrated trying to find, you know, catch to recruit certain people. And be like, UGH! Be my friend! A lot of seeds around here. Sophie! That's the other reason I probably shouldn't stay too much longer. My dog will start getting restless. Yeah, if I stay up too late, she's, gonna, she's like, oh, why are you still up? Voltorb! Heck yes! Voltorb is a bro now. Are you taking the Voltorb? Floaty face. Well, then Nathan. Anger ball. Where's the K? I guess I have to do...
Damn. Lame. Fine, we'll call him Rage Ball. <laughs> Not a poke. What is. What does that mean? I don't think they give you Pokeball. They give you the Pokemon characters, no. They do give you the E, though. Which is what I was looking for earlier. I don't know if I like Rage Ball as much as Anger Ball, though. I might. Rage Ball is fine, though. Oh, right! Sorry, Rage Ball! It's gotta be in all caps, you're right. It doesn't make any. It's. Rage. That makes more sense. Rage Ball lowercase doesn't make sense, but Rage Ball uppercase. Now we're talking. Rage Ball! Rage Ball is now going on adventures with us. Rage Ball! What's Rage Ball got to say? Careful! Touching me will zap you! He's so polite! You're so polite, Rage Ball! Gain 42 experience points. <laughs> Rage Ball picked up the apple somehow. <laughs> somehow picked it up. I'll be right back. Yeah, it's like playing, it's like basketball with more screaming and also, <laughs> also a ball that explodes. The court is electrified, like an electrified cage match. Oh, po oh, power thirst! Babies! So many babies! in the face with your energy legs that's what that's what he has that's how he's also what heck yes join my team Ella kid <laughs> power thirst is the official beverage of rage ball look at this little guy It also has energy arms, which is how it's able to pick things up. Brando! The thirst new layer. Quit giving them cutesy names, kid! These Pokemon are, are these are respectable gentlemen and gentle ladies. We need to give them proper names. If we're the only ones with legitimate names. It's going to be weird. Let's just not name any of them. Let's just have Rage Ball and everyone else is just the Pokemon name. Just Rage Ball. Rage Ball grew to level four! Oh, hey! Leveled up! I feel energized! I'm going to read everything he says like this. Everything involving him. Rage Ball's HP went up three! Rage Ball's attack went up two! Rage Ball's defense went up two! Rage Ball's special attack went up two! Rage Ball's special defense went up two! Oh my gosh, you're coming with us too! Look at all this party! It's like a party! Freaking, freaking party! Did we get who we were coming here for? 
We already rescued Netheran, we're good. Let's go get Spiro. Wait, we didn't talk to Ella Kid. What up, friend? I wave my arms in circles to loose electric attacks. I throw my hands up in there sometimes, saying, Ayo. Ella Kid, oh. No, c come here. Yeah, the worst is whenever you find manage to recruit someone and they get knocked out. We're on floor five and the stairs are right there, so we'll just walk over to it. Thank you for delivering Sleep Seed. Here's a reward, Promise Reviver Seed. Woo! Thank you for rescuing Nidoran female. Here's a reward, 100 Pokey. Thank you for rescuing Spiro. Here's a reward, the Promise Maxi Elixir. Dang, we got a lot. Congratulations! High five went up in rank from the normal rank to the bronze rank. Well, hot damn. Didn't we do good today? Let's call it night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. Good job, team. Way to go, rescue team hive mind. 50 points! We've already accumulated 50 points, guys! We're doing pretty cool. Good morning! Let's do good again today! Is this the place? Is this where that team named hive mind is based? Uh oh. Uh oh! There's nothing here. Depressing, isn't it? <laughs> Who'd want a rescue team from a dump like this? Unbelievable. Who are you people? A mailbox! <laughs> yeah, check it out! No, wait a second! What do you think you're doing? Yes! Rescue job offers! Oh la la! Isn't that rather tasty? We'll have them all. Stop! Those were meant for us! Don't butt in! <laughs> Doesn't matter who does it. We're a rescue team too, I'll have you know. But all we ever get up to is no good. Wanna know how it works? If we have the cover of a rescue team, we can get away with so much more. We have our eyes on world domination. What? World domination? <laughs> you heard right. That's why we're ranking, ranking in the cash adding to our gang. The world will be ours. The rescue team of evil, Team Meanies, is who we are. See you around! <laughs> no, wait a second! They took off. What an unbelievable bunch. Oh no, it is 
empty! Oh no, he's crying! He took everything! Dude, we got all the ones out of our mail, it's fine. Unless there were new ones that came in already. I don't know, there are some Pokemon, I mean, like, there are the team Pokemon, you know, with like, Nadia that might be, might be inclined to be mischievous, but... Oh, wait, okay, okay, you're saying, okay, yeah. You're talking anime. <laughs> Pokemon are never naturally bad. They can definitely be bad. We're in luck! Pelipper just delivered some mail! You're so cute, Mudkip. With this, we can go, oh, we can, but... <laughs> We can go on rescue missions again with this. But those guys, they better not try anything if we see them again. Look how mad he is. I love how they put a warning tag on the mailbox. Sitting there banging the side of the mailbox. Why can't I get my mail out? I don't understand. I can't get home. I've reached my limit. My consciousness is, sip is sipping. My consciousness is shipping. Help. Pidgey consciousness X. Pidgey's subconscious. I ship it. Anyway, <laughs> we did good. We should go visit Rage Ball. It looked pensive for a moment, but it's grinning widely again. It's so cute! You're so cute! It seems to be full of energy. Literally, it is full of energy. How strong are you? Level 6. It appears to like this place a lot. We should take you guys with us on. Through the tiny cave. We'll do one more set of missions for the day and then we'll call it an evening. Sound good? Let's go check the board and see if there are any more for Tiny Cave. How does Magnemite grin? The same way that Diglett, you know, was carried to the top of the tower by Skarmori. Don't think about it. Oh, Kyrogs been missing for three days! Goodness! You should accept that one. Is it true about the cherry berry? Please, give me one! Yes, it's definitely true. I don't know what you're saying, but yes, whatever you're talking about, definitely true. Let's go drop off some of our goods. I didn't real. I never, I forgot about being able to do that for a, a decent amount of time, selecting more than one item. I 
I don't know, but whatever it is, he's gonna, he, this pincer is determined to find out if it's true. Whatever it is. Oh, you can't go with four to this dungeon. That's too many Pokemon for this, for such a tiny cave. So we'll just take Rage Ball. Its mood appears to have changed. I didn't think to buy any more areas. I don't know if we can recruit any Pokemon right now. Nope. We don't have any areas that would show these guys. Sorry, I forgot to. I didn't think about that. It's okay. We're in it to help people. We're not in any rush. To help people and raise Rage Ball's level. Double Wormples all the way across, across the level. Rage Ball picked up the 22 Pokey. 22. Exactly 22 Pokey. You are here. Welcome, Joe. Looking for a poutine on both this floor and the next. But yes, we're going to be doing one more round of rescues before we call it an evening. Did you did you get to uh, see Gengar's team? We were, we were harassed by Team Mies. They came and took all of our requests out of our box. And told us they were in this, and brazenly told us their plans for world domination. That's how little of a threat they saw us. I'm assuming. Little little did they know we're gonna totally wreck their shit. Probably. Cause we're rescue team high mine and we ain't gonna have to put up with none of that malarkey. Coming here on in my turf, talking shit. Actually, okay. I was actually going to let that one slide. Sleeping eggs. A pile of sleeping eggs. Crush sleepy eggs. Oh, 
Oh no! If we had caught the sleep, if we had made befriended the sleepy eggs, we could call them. We could have called them like B and B. A bed, a bed and breakfast. Thank you for rescuing Putina. He's reward, the promised survivor seed. Thank you for rescuing Putina. He's reward, the promised gravel rock tin. Now I want to go see where we'd get where we'd catch and execute. How will I execute recruiting and execute? Good morning, Ellipsis. Let's do good again today. Ellipsis, Alistair. Huh? Who's that? <gasps> oh, Caterpie. How have you been? Please. Please help my friend! What's the matter? I was playing with my friend Metapod! But Metapod got lost in the woods! He's still lost out there! Oh, I see, I see. That does sound bad. <laughs> hey! What do you think you're doing? Have no fear! We're here to help your ch- or to save your chum Metapod! Hold on! Caterpie came to us for help! Kiss! <laughs> you think you could do this rescue with your amateur level skills? What did you say? It doesn't matter who does the rescuing, see? The guy that does the rescuing gets to be the hero. Listen, Caterpie, how about we do this? How about you give the reward to the team that brings back your chum first? But I... I don't have any money. Oh, don't worry about that, my little friend. I'm sure we can persuade your parents to reward us with the in with interest afterwards. Kick <laughs> it. Oh, yeah! You can even join our team! There's an offer you can't refuse. Oh, there's an offer you can't refuse. I should be reading all of his voices like a... Like a... Mobster, shouldn't I? When you join us, Caterpie, we'll let you be a big wheel in Team Meanies. <laughs> That's the deal, Alistair. The first to rescue you wins. Come on, move. Let's get this done already. Throwing down the gauntlet! What the shit? <laughs> Don't worry. We'll save your friend first. Ellipsis! Let's get going. What should I do? I don't have any money and I don't want to join those meanies. Please, Ellipsis, help us. Cute, 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 cute. You're so cute, Caterpie. Cuter pee. Cutie pie. Cater, cater cutie pie. But no, I have to call it a night. We're gonna, we're gonna... Let's save our game. As best as we can. Cuter Pete, cuter Pete. Cuter pie. I keep talking to Bellsprout. Why always Bellsprout? I don't know. Maybe because Bellsprout's right in the middle. I just gotta check out execute groups. In jungle.
Anyway, thanks for joining me, guys. We had some some exciting plot things happening. What's that, Makuhita? This is the Makuhita Dojo. For rigorous training, one begets true power. In the fire maze, you only find you find only fire type Pokemon. In the water maze, you will find you will only be water type Pokemon. In such ways, only one type of Pokemon will be in a given room. Study how types match up in a battle. The Pokemon in the dojo, by the way, are all volunteers. They are participating because they want to see rescue teams succeed. The only thing they expect is to see you become stronger. Don't let them down. That's cute. There's more. If a rescue team that successfully completes all training courses, I have a special reward. That they compel you to train harder. What else do you seek? Fine, farewell. Return if you seek more training. Okay, he just are so cute. I love their little little tie ears. Cute sumo Pokemon. Sumo Mon. Sumo Momo no. Sumon. Okay. I'll see you fine folks on Thursday. Go! Rescue Team Hivemind, do your best! Caterpie's counting on us!